We now have an intermittent steering issue where the RAM stops responding and what's happening is one steering station is causing the other steering station to spin in the opposite direction and uh, recently pulling into our slip I lost rudder control and bumped into the sailboat next to us. I had a hydraulics guy come out and help me troubleshoot it. We bled the system. Fresh fluid, no cure, same issue. So it appears now that uh, there are some left and right valves in the lower helm pump, and I think they're seized and only opening and closing intermittently, uh, which is what's causing one wheel to turn the other wheel instead of the ram moving. The patch for the past few months has been to lash the lower wheel and uh, just steer from the top, and also the autopilot has worked just fine. We removed the pumps from the upper and lower stations and shipped them off to Massachusetts. Three weeks has gone by and they returned yesterday. And as suspected, the lower pump check valves were seized and sticking. So that was the cause for the uh, lower wheel causing the upper wheel to spin in the opposite direction or the upper wheel causing the lower wheel to spin instead of the ram at the back of the boat activating. I've been dealing with this issue where when the ram is fully closed, it doesn't actually close all the way. It's stopping on this piece of wood here. And what happens then is it's putting a tremendous amount of pressure on this piece of fiberglass. And I'm fearful that it's already started to delaminate the glass uh, from that continuous pressure when you're hard over all the way to the end. So it looks like... Someone in the past marked a line on that piece of <clears throat> what I think is marine plywood. Uh, actually, it may just be a solid block of wood um, where the cut needs to be to hopefully get the ram to close all the way without that piece of metal um, crashing into that piece of fiberglass or glassed over wood. So I've got a jigsaw with me and I'm going to attempt to cut right along that line and see if that solves the problem. I purchased some clear quarter inch hose and two quarter inch thread male iron pipe fittings to uh, like uh, the hose quarter inch bib. Uh, so I'm going to make my own filler tube for the fly bridge. Uh, they do sell a kit at West Marine, I think it was like $25. These were $3.50 each and this was about $4, so roughly third the price. I just have to drill a hole in a oil cap. Problem. Well, my son discovered the bad news before me. Same issue. One wheel spins the other wheel, and the cylinder at the rudder doesn't move. So now I'm thinking it may be the check valves in the autopilot. I should have pulled that third pump and sent it off with the other two. And uh, totally discouraged now because I got to get covered in fluid one more time, drain the system, pull the pumps, and uh, considering tearing up them open myself this time, the check valve caps, I'm going to find a spanner wrench that's the right size to remove them. And um, for now, calling it quits, and we'll figure it out next time.